Okay, we're doing it. Today, we are going on a run. If you guys know me, you know I don't really enjoy running. I've never enjoyed it. I've been good at it when I was like very young and then I stopped working out altogether and then I started getting into the gym. Recently, I've been incorporating sprints back into my routine. As hard as it is when you're doing it, I love pushing myself and I love the way I feel afterwards. And I know that running could be that for me and I find running challenging. I've got asthma. So I'd like to improve like my lung capacity and all of that stuff. If you've been watching me for a while, you would have seen that I did, I actually ran two 10k like races I guess with adidas and I didn't really train properly for them but I did it so I know I can run I just need to get past the mental block I really want to become good at it and understand it more and get that run as high and I think the one thing that will help me with that is running outside because I always used to run on a treadmill and no wonder I didn't enjoy it I also didn't have the right gear like the right trainers so I'd get a lot of knee pain and stuff like that but yesterday I went to a running shop called up and running in Manchester it's in Dean's gate and I got my gait tested which just basically means that they look at the way your feet land as you run and help you figure out what the best type of like running shoe would be for you I tried on so many pairs of trainers and I ended up buying a pair because I really want to start this off on the right foot hey <laughs> Yeah, I tried on numerous different types of trainers and listen, right? I've never really bothered with that stuff before. I didn't really even know that was a thing. But let me tell you the difference between the trainers was insane. I got these New Balance Fresh Foam. Not really the colorway for me, but these are what they had. And I was like, I just want to start. I don't hate them though. I don't hate them. It forced me to wear a bit of colour. So basically today's the day I want to start. So we're going to do it today. I've downloaded a couple of apps, Runner and Strava. I'm going to be using Strava because it tracks like your pace and all of that stuff. So I'm going to be doing a four kilometre run today. Never run around Manchester. I don't know it very well. So hopefully I find some good routes. But yeah, I thought I'd take you guys along with me. I'll probably just use my phone. Well, I've got to share the first run with you, right? And if I'm being honest, I'm terrified. It's going to be fine, isn't it? It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. But yeah, I'm super Super excited to take you on this journey. I've been watching a lot of Holly B Fitness and Connor Kathleen. I've been watching their running journey and I just feel so inspired. I remember watching Holly do her, was it a half marathon or a full marathon? I get confused between the two. She, she ran in Paris and when she completed that race, she got super emotional. And I started getting super emotional with her and I was like, I just wanna have that feeling. I wanna accomplish something that I find difficult and mentally challenging and also not that enjoyable. I want to be able to enjoy it and I know I can. Yeah, I just wanna feel like proud of myself. I wanna be able to do something that's different difficult and feel like super accomplished so that is what we're doing finally i've been talking about it for ages and i was like if i don't buy the trainers i'm not going to do it so i'm just going to be wearing these alpha leaps amplify leggings i don't really know what i should be wearing but we're just going to go with these today oh i also bought some running socks because sir those ears are cute but they're in the way bubba come here good boy i also bought some running socks because i did ask about that also, these were £14.50 and these are £17.99 for a pair of socks. Oi! For my dog to destroy them. <laughs> so hopefully they'll be helpful. They're definitely thinner than regular socks and they're not cotton. Apparently cotton can make your feet get really hot really quick and like sweaty and swollen. I guess I'll try the more expensive ones on, I don't know. They also go with the trainers, which is quite cool. And I'll probably just put on like a sports bra. I don't even have like a running jacket. <sighs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, but we're just gonna see how it goes. This isn't a very supportive bra, but there's not much to support, so it's fine. I actually went a size up. You're meant to go like half a size or a size up because your feet can swell and stuff. So you want like a bit of extra room for that. Oh, they're actually labeled right and left. Ooh, they feel kind of nice. Quite compression-y. Guys, so I'm defo longing this out and procrastinating it. I am nervous. That is not for you, Bubba. I kind of love that they match. That's so cute. These feel like they look so big on. <laughs> I guess I should probably do like some kind of a warm up. Put it on this skims top because I don't have any running tops, but this is the only thing that's like tight fitted and I can't work out in anything baggy. It just feels horrible. I do think I'm gonna get too warm, but I'm gonna start with this anyway because I just feel a bit weird going out in just my like little sports bra. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so scared. Okay, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. One kilometre done. I'm definitely going way too fast. So I'm just gonna walk for a little bit. I'm really warm also. That's three kilometres. One more to go. Four kilometres. Fucking did it. I need to get some food in my belly right now. I feel fucking amazing. <laughs> I just got back. 
I... I'm not gonna get too ahead of myself, but that was actually a lot easier than I expected. I don't think I realised how much like weight training and sprinting actually helped my cardio health as well. But I'm obviously not gonna get too ahead of myself. That was only a four kilometre run. And I've just looked at the actual plan. I'm using the runner app. And basically it's a 10k plan. So I'm trying to get to 10k again. So that was an easy run, which was a 4k. And then Sunday I've got a long run, which is a 5k. As I look through the plan, it changes from easy and long runs. So from four and five kilometer run, it kind of builds up to a 10k. And there's different runs like interval runs and tempo runs, which I've never done before. But I'm super excited. That felt really good, especially considering that I'm not feeling great today the trainers oh my god you wouldn't believe how much of a difference they make i've never bought running trainers in my life or i've bought like trainers that are kind of marketed as running trainers but they're actually just kind of trendy trainers you know like the like free runs and stuff like that these trainers i felt like i was like running on clouds they give you so much spring everything feels kind of cushioned because i get a lot of knee and ankle and kind of joint pain and hip pain when I do anything that's kind of like high impact where I'm like landing on my feet, do you know what I mean? Because I'm very used to doing weights, so it's very much just like steady motion rather than like if I did jump squats, for example, I'd have a lot of pain from like the landing. We'll see how I go with that side of things, but they felt really good to run in. So I'm so glad that I made that investment yesterday. Um, I'm definitely gonna need a running vest. This isn't ideal. This was okay though, but it wasn't ideal. I didn't even need to drink anything. I should probably hydrate now and eat, but I, I, f I don't know if I've got runners high, but it kind of feels like I do. I just feel amazing right now. My mum's calling me. I just tried to call her now. <laughs> Hello, Pop. Hello. That was not smooth at all. <laughs> it is 9 a.m excuse the lighting we're in the spare room as you guys can see we've rebuilt the wardrobes in here which is so happy about that we are going on our second run of the week today is a five kilometer run so it's one kilometer more than the run that we did on thursday today is sunday and yeah i'm kind of nervous i'm not really sure how i'm feeling about this one just because I've not been getting the best sleep the last few nights and I've not been eating very well the last couple of days either. But we've got a pre-workout and creatine mix. We're just gonna go for it. I'm wondering if the lighting will be better over here actually. Yes. Yeah, just gonna go for it and hope for the best. It's a really gloomy day today. It's raining, but it's not like freezing. And to be honest, it might feel kind of nice, you know? Today I'm wearing an Alpha Lee sports bra. I'm not sure which one it is, but if I can find it, I'll link it down below. I can't say that I'd 100% recommend it for running because I don't know, first of all, but also I don't really need that much support. So it might be good for me, but it might not be great for everybody. I just ordered some new Honor Active leggings because these are some of my favorite, favorite, favorite leggings. But yeah, that is the plan today, five kilometer run. I was gonna take the dog with me, but I'm not that confident in him just yet. And also I'm not confident in myself enough in terms of like roots and stuff. I just don't wanna drag him around for ages. Um, oh, are these my keys. I'm looking for these everywhere. Right, bottoms up. The lighting in here is pretty all right, actually. Pretty decent. Fuck, I wish me luck, guys, because I feel like I'm gonna need it today. I'm so tired. Oh my God, you guys, I'm freezing. I need to get running ASAP. Get over here right now and give your mummy a kiss. Give your mother a kiss. Give your mother a kiss. <laughs> he hates me. Hey guys. So, <laughs> back from my run. It went pretty well. Um, I accidentally ended up running six kilometers instead of five. Just cause I misread like the app. Again, my average pace was too fast. Like the app kept telling me in my ears like, slow down, slow down. And I was like, if I slow down anymore, I'm gonna be walking. Um, so I just kind of did, ran as, or kind of jogged as slowly as I could. It is definitely a mental thing. Like when you first start the run, 
your body's like, yo, this doesn't feel good. This does not feel good. And then like after the first half kilometer, your body kind of just goes into autopilot. And as long as your pace is good and you're regulating like your breathing and stuff, it just feels good. Like you just run in. To be honest, I didn't even plan my route. I just kind of ran and listened to how far the app was telling me I was. And then at about the halfway point, what I thought was the halfway point, <laughs> Um, I just started running back towards where I live. Now, really, the only kind of running I do is like interval sprints, which is like at the end of like a weight training session. Um, so yeah, everything that I'm sharing with you is all stuff that I'm learning along the way. So if you guys are new to this as well, or if you're not new to this and you have any advice, let me know. But if you have any questions also, feel free to leave them down below and I will answer as I learned. So I was running for 45 minutes. I did stop every now and again just because I was like crossing roads and stuff so I'd have to stop at crossings. And my average pace was 7 minutes 27 and the app was telling me to go at an 8.45 pace. I just don't think that's possible for me to do that and still be running. I don't know if it's because I'm taller so like maybe my... I'm not really like striding though. I don't know. It would just not feel natural to me. Six kilometers in 45 minutes, pretty good for me, I guess. That's how that went today, it was really nice actually. A little bit rainy here and there, nice and cool. Again, the shoes were amazing. When I got back, I stretched this time because after the run on Thursday, I was so sore, um, but I had just done like a, a leg day the day before as well. So that's another thing that I'm gonna have to figure out is trying to balance lifting with running because I, I do not want to give up lifting. like. I'm super passionate about it, I love it so much. And I don't wanna lose strength or progress. And I'm really scared that running is gonna affect that, but we'll see, I'll keep you updated on that as well. Basically for the rest of the day, I'm just chilling, it is a Sunday. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling tired. I think running definitely makes me feel tired. I guess it's a shock to my body because my body's not used to just doing long runs. So I'm gonna give my time, myself some time to adjust, hopefully. At the moment, I'm only doing two runs a week. Yeah, so next week is two six kilometer runs. One is an interval run, which I don't know what that is. So I'm gonna learn next Thursday. All right, guys, I'm doing it. I'm ordering a cheap running vest for now from Amazon. But I like this one because it's got the phone pouch and it's also got the bottle pouch. And I think it comes with the bottle as well. So that's great. And then I'm just ordering a workout top. Apparently this is a Lululemon dupe. Oh no, this is the Lululemon dupe. Um, so like a cropped one and then a sage kind of longer one. And then a running jacket that kind of looks like it's going to give BBL vibes. And there's loads of really nice ones of these in different colours. And there's one that's just like a three quarter zip that you pull over as well. So if any of this is good, I'll let you know um, and I'll probably be buying more, but I don't want to invest too much money just yet. I want to get to grips with the running first. So here's me picking up my favorite cookie after a run. I'm not really sure what happened to the other clips. They disappeared. I had actually made a whole reel, but my real drafts seem to have disappeared from Instagram. So that's great. This second run was on a super busy day, so I didn't really get to film much around it except for the run. Right, I'm about to go on my run. Trying to figure out what to wear today is kind of a tricky one. It is raining and super gloomy, but it's not that cold. Like it's still fairly warm. Last time I went on a run and the f everything was wet. I was wearing light colors and I got like mucky water all over it. I was like, this is pointless. There's no point in trying to be cute. So I'm probably just gonna wear all black today. I've decided on shorts because if it starts to really, really rain, I don't want my legs to be like soggy the whole time. So we're doing shorts. These are the Alpha Leaks. Amplify biker short, I believe. Love them. Alphalete sports bra. And then this, I don't know if it's actually a running jacket, but I just got it on Amazon. It's like one of those BBL jackets. I love it. It's so comfy. It's got the thumb holes. Makes me look snatched. A little bit of pre-workout as always, especially at this point in my uh, menstruation cycle. Wow, the hair is really hairing, isn't it? Damn. Oh, my teeth are so sensitive. My pre-workout of choice is Women's Best Exotic Fruits. I quite like it. This one's really nice. I'm not always a fan of pre-workout. Of course, I cannot forget the running vest. I'm this close to buying the Solomon one that Holly B Fitness keeps recommending because it just looks amazing. But I need to just try and finish the first 10 weeks of my program, which will get me to like a good 10K. And then maybe I'll treat myself after that. So I've got my inhaler, my lip balm, I need to put my keys in and my phone. We're good to go. Oh, and I need to put my headphones on as well. This is the fit. Nice and simple today. 
pre-workout's kicking in though, so I gotta go. Peace. Here we are, one thing in the I'm just feeling like a really good one today. I'm excited. <laughs> Two kilometers complete. I'm definitely running way too fast though. But we move. Let's do it, let's try and set a record. Three kilometers down, four to go. I have no idea where I'm going though. Some of these routes are really sketchy. <laughs> kilometer four done. Oh my God. Two to go. One more to go. <laughs> Guys, I'm done. Ah! I think I did it in 39 minutes, I could be wrong. But I'm kind of far from home, so I'm just gonna keep going. I don't know if this is a good choice or not, but I'm gonna keep going. Okay, well I'm back. I need to put a jumper on though because this jacket is full of sweat. Guys, I ran almost 11 kilometers by accident. I basically got stuck on the canal, ended up running from kind of the city center all the way to Trafford. Um, I couldn't get off the canal, so I just had to keep going. By the time I hit the 7K, I was like, I might as well just keep running. Um, so I ran all the way to like Piccadilly Gardens um, where the m &S is. I stopped and picked up some of these. If you haven't tried this, if you're vegan or veggie and you used to love chicken Kievs, these from M&S, you can't tell the difference, like they're delicious. Yeah, I basically did a little jog back almost all the way home from that M&S as well. I just was like, why stop now? And it felt good, I'm not gonna lie. My pace was so fast today. If you guys run, like, do you guys struggle with pacing yourself? Cause I find it so difficult. Like I can't help myself, I get too excited. My average pace was 6.38 and it was meant to be 8.15 per, 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 per kilometer, which is insane. What I wanna see though is what time I hit 7K. How do I figure that out on here? Oh my God, I ran 5K in 32 minutes. That's pretty good for me. I'm gonna eat though because I'm starving and I need to refuel. I also have a question for anyone that's been running for a while and does like kind of longer distance running. I know I wear my vest, I purely wear it because it's easier than carrying a bag with like my phone and stuff in it. But when should you like really start wearing a vest that and have like gels and liquid and stuff in it? Surprisingly, I didn't get that thirsty. I thought I'd be super thirsty, but I just don't get that thirsty. I should probably hydrate now though. <laughs> Excuse me. It is Thursday, I've got my running outfit on. <laughs> We've gone for a kind of all green look today. God, my hair <laughs> is wild. Um, it is week four of my 10 week running plan to get to 10K. I've already done almost an 11K, which is wild to me. We've got an easy run, just a five kilometer run, which I'm super happy about. I'm literally, my, I know I'm gonna start bleeding today. I just know it. Um, I'm super tired. I've been so emotional the last few days, not just because of my hormones, just life, the weather. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I feel like I need a run. I haven't done any exercise for a couple of days. I've basically um, completed my training plan on Evolve You. That's Chrissy Cheller's app. If you guys don't follow her, what are you doing? I'll leave her link down below. I think I was doing the Power Strong program. I think I'm gonna try next up the Build program because I'm trying to build some muscle and the sessions also seem a bit shorter. They're 45 to 60 minutes, which I think for me will be better if I'm doing running as well. Some of the sessions I was doing before were like, 90 minutes and then I'd be stretching around it and so I'd basically be at the gym for like two hours and it was a lot It definitely worked though. My body looks so different now, but yeah, basically I'm done with that So I need to incorporate I don't know where I've gone off on this tangent Oh, because I said I haven't been training apart from running Um, so basically yeah, I finished that up. So I'm gonna pick a new program now I think I'm gonna do this one. I haven't seen this trainer before Maddie 12 week program alongside my running. So I'm looking forward to that and I'm looking forward to taking you guys along to the gym with me. I hope you guys are enjoying the running content. I don't really know how it's gonna go. I haven't even started editing it yet properly, but um, yeah, I'm super grateful that today is just like an easy run. I can take it easy. I can push myself as much as I want, but I'm still working out, which I feel like I definitely need. And I always feel better. There is a wasp on the window. I always feel better, especially on my period. Um, once I've done a workout, but I know it can be more difficult to work out and train. Although sometimes I feel like I'm really strong on my period, but maybe I'm just like getting the rage out. <laughs> I don't know. So this morning I'm going to do a bit of a full body warm up, some kind of like active recovery, mobility kind of things before I go on the run. And then we're just going to 
hit the road. Oh my God, I'm so old. <laughs> this is my outfit. Don't ask me why I'm holding an entire tripod, okay? <laughs> That's just how it is today. This top is from Amazon. It's got like a built-in bra. It also makes my boobs look a little bit bigger and it's making me consider some things. <laughs> um, my shorts are the Alphalete Amplify biker short I believe and then I've got features running socks I don't know and then I'm gonna wear the same new balance that I've been wearing because I'm my only pair I've just ordered two more pairs because I found them in black and in grey I believe so yeah anyway I'm gonna have a bit of toast do a little warm-up and then get this 5k completed I'm kind of excited to see what time I'm gonna get for it Um, not that it matters but I'm just excited because I feel like I surprised myself last time um, but who knows it might not be as great of a run today it's never linear is it so no look how mucky my mat is already that doesn't mean come and help yourself He makes the funniest noises when he doesn't want to be moved. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love this dog. Oh, my quads are sore. Oh, it's tight. The way my neck is like, I need to relax. Hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I hated, like I absolutely hated every bit of that run. So I'm like, thank God it was only a five kilometer run. I don't know what happened. I think maybe I, um, my pace was too fast at the beginning. Like I started just running too fast. Um, my breathing was all over the place. I felt like a lump in my chest, like weight on my chest. Look at the color of me right now. I've gone fully like, I'm literally the same color as my hair. I hated it. I did not enjoy one bit of that. <laughs> one good thing though is my new trainers have arrived. So that's, that's motivation, I guess. Let me take these off. Somebody's very kindly already punched a fat hole in it. So hopefully everything that I've ordered is in here. So yeah, I've ordered the same trainers. These are the New Balance Fresh Foam More V4, I believe. Ooh, I like these. Got them in this black. They actually look more like a super dark gray and there's like a silver finish there. I don't know if you guys can tell. They've also got like a, I think it's either white or off-white pair like this with a gold, but um, I prefer the darker ones. These are staying, I love them. So that's one pair. Oh, I love them. I'm so glad because as much as I love these, it's not really a thing that I do like colors like this, but I just needed a pair of running trainers. Um, I do like these, but I definitely wanted a more neutral pair, so I'm obsessed. I can't wait to give these a go. By the way, I've got these in a size seven. They usually recommend going a, a half size or a size up, just because when you run, your feet can swell up and stuff, especially if you're doing longer distances. Um, so it just gives you a bit, your feet a bit more room to breathe. Just FYI, by the way. See, this is, all right, first of all, I'm going off on a tangent, but as much as I hated that run, can you tell that I've got runner's high right now? FYI, both of my big toenails have broken like horizontally. They're like breaking in half. So that's gross. Be prepared for that if you are starting to run. Yay, super happy with that. I'll leave a link to these down below if anyone is interested. But I will still recommend you guys go and get your gait tested because everybody's runs differently. Everybody's like the way everybody's feet land is different. So the type of trainer and support that everyone needs will be different. My gait is quite neutral, but even still I tried on so many different pairs of trainers that were recommended and these felt the best for me. Luckily, they are probably the best looking running trainers I've seen, but genuinely I chose them because they just felt the best for me and I'm super happy with my decision. Anyway, I'm gonna eat because my body feels broken and I'm gonna enjoy the runner's high whilst it lasts because I really did not enjoy the run itself. So let me at least enjoy the runner's high. Morning guys. Today is one of those days where I really don't want to do this. Like the last thing I want to do is go and run for eight kilometers. I'm 
tired. I've just spent the last like 20 minutes looking for my keys that I've lost for like the 400th time this week. After going on a diabolical dog walk, it was a bad one today. I'm on my period and it's a bad one. I'm like getting fever sweats in my sleep. That's how bad my period is. I'm so weak. I keep getting like intense nausea. And I feel like after my last run that didn't go that well, like I hated every second of it. I'm not feeling that like motivated or encouraged to go on this one, but that is exactly why we're gonna do it because I've got something to prove to myself. I know I'm gonna feel good after the run, um, but it's on the days where like you really don't want to do it. Those are the days where you you should, where you have to, where you make yourself do it. Obviously there's like boundaries and limits if you're really like unwell or whatever. If you know like this is not a good idea, fine. But I know I can do it today. Um, I just really don't want to because I know it's going to be hard. But I know how I'm going to feel if I make myself do that hard thing, how I'm going to feel afterwards. And that makes it all worth it for me. So yeah, I got a very boring outfit on today. I've got this, this is like the oldest. This is one of my first ever gym tops that I got um, years and years and years ago. It's actually a bit too baggy, but I'm gonna wear it because I wanna feel covered up today. It's by Nike. I get questions about this all the time, but it's literally probably about 10 years old, if not more. Elf Elite Amplify leggings on in this gray color. And then I've got my new, new balance which I love. I love the black and go a bit more incognito. Kind of wish I had a black jacket on, but the one I have is kind of sweaty. I feel like this one will be better while still covering me up because I, I'm just, I'm in that mode where I feel gross and I don't want anyone to look at me. I don't want any of my skin showing. Um, I just want to like be in the run. I'm going to go because I took pre-workout and then couldn't find my keys for like 20 minutes. So my heart is like, blah. So I'm going to bang this out eight kilometers. Wish me luck. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm back. Oh, there goes my ear piercing. Flying left, right and center. It's kind of gross. I got hair dye on it and it's like, I don't know, the metal's like come off of it. It's like burnt the metal off. That run was phenomenal in comparison to my last three workouts. I've been using the runner app and it felt really weird today because usually it tells me like every kilometer, like my pace and stuff. And today it just didn't talk. I was like, cool. So I ended up running eight and a half K because I had to keep stopping to check, but it felt so much better. Today, um, I forgot to mention that I've gone back to the gym now. So I've done my last run that you guys saw and then I did a leg day and then yesterday I did a pull day. And let me tell you, I can hardly lift my arms up. It is so painful all down here. Yesterday was embarrassing. I mean, it's, no, it's never embarrassing, but I just couldn't lift any weight. Like I struggled yesterday so hard. Um, I put it down to my period because it's, I was so weak yesterday. But also I guess I haven't trained upper body in ages and I feel like I probably lose, lose progress there quicker because it's still fairly kind of it's not that new to me but I haven't been training it for years and years my upper body I've gone off on a tangent but yeah so considering my last three workouts were a bit of a mess a bit of a shambles today felt really good it felt easy I was just gl like gliding through it I think my average pace was like 629 or something like that I was meant to be running at like an 820 pace maybe I don't know what's going on there I think maybe I need to adjust it but I'm gonna complete the 10 weeks and then start a new program. I'm thinking I want to run a half marathon, guys. It, pff, do, am I really going to say that? Am I really going to put that out there? Yeah, I'm going to put that out there because then you guys can hold me accountable and it will, I'll hold myself accountable by saying it as well. I'm sorry, I've got to put a jump. I'm freezing. There's like, you know when you're, you get sweaty and then you've got like a long top on or whatever. Can you see the goosebumps? I don't know if you, I've literally got goosebumps all over my body. Um, yeah, my sweat's making me cold. I just need to put a different jumper on. I'm gonna get in the shower in a sec anyway. Ooh, oh my God, my body hurts. Tomorrow, oh, oh, just missed it. It was 11, 11. Is my phone a rainbow? That's so cool. 11, 11 is my lucky number, baby. Always has been since I was young, young. Before I even knew what 11, 11 signified, I used to see it everywhere all the time and I was like that's really weird um and then later on I learned that it was like an angel number and I was like wow 
that's cool. Yeah, that run, that felt phenomenal. It felt so much better than I thought it was gonna be. And that's why I'm glad, I'm glad that I did it because I really didn't want to, but actually it felt great. And now my head feels amazing. The only time that run felt bad was when I took my phone out to film and that's why we only got one clip today. I just needed to be in the zone today. It's always fun running as well. Like I've lived in Manchester for a year and a half now, but I just don't know it that well. I feel like, cause it's quite small. It feels very restricted to like the same things. But when you go running, you kind of go down these random little different roads or a little bit further than you would, would usually go somewhere you've been before. And you always discover like a little something new, which is nice. Just goes to show that doing it on the days where you don't want to, usually by the end of it, even if it was hard, it's like the most rewarding because you pushed yourself, you've proved to yourself that you have that resilience and that kind of like willpower and mindset. And it just transfers over into like other aspects of your life and transfers over to like your, you know, your next training session and you improving that mindset. So I'm not gonna lie, I could just have a big fat nap right now, but I'm not gonna do that. I think that'll probably be it for this running video, just because it's probably quite long, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys an introduction into like my first few runs. I think I've done, is it eight? There's no way I've done eight runs already. Hold on a minute. Have I actually? I've done eight runs already. So I've done four weeks of running. That's crazy, I didn't even realize. It's crazy when you like get into something how little you realize how much you put into it, if that makes sense. Um, when you like start to enjoy something. Yeah, so that's my four, first four weeks of running and training for 10K. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope it will inspire some of you guys to maybe pick up your trainers and go for a run. If you have any advice, please feel free to leave it down below. Constructive criticism only. I can't take anything else right now. Um, if you have any questions, also feel free to leave them down below. I will answer what I can. I'm not an expert at this at all. I'm new to this in terms of like taking it seriously and understanding how to improve my running and stuff like that. So I'm kind of learning along with you guys, but it'd be great for us to go on this journey together. And yeah, I think from now on, I'm probably gonna do weekly vlogs. So I'll probably just include my runs in the weekly vlogs. But if you do enjoy the workout focus vlogs, let me know. I will try and start taking you to the gym with me as well. I've, I've moved to a new gym, it's much bigger. I kind of prefer that vibe. So it's just a case of me getting used to like filming in there and stuff and finding times to go when it's like not super busy. Also, I met a follower there the other day. She was so lovely. Hey, Karis, if you're watching. Um, I always worry that I'm like really awkward when I meet people. I feel just as like, I don't know, what's the word? Like, it just blows my mind still that people recognize me and they're like, I've been watching you for years. I'm just like, like, I, I don't correlate that what I'm doing right now, like people in real life watch it, if that makes sense. Like, I know people watch it, but I just don't expect people to see me in real life and be like, oh my God. But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next run. This is very exciting. I feel like I'm getting my mojo back and it feels okay, Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Until next time, bye. Mwah.